Hello, welcome to this episode of Pete's Garden. It's a bit of a short one this week. I'm just doing a tour of the front garden. So thanks for watching, and if you'd like to click subscribe, that'd be great. Right, roll title. So this is the front garden. When you come into the gate here, next to the noisy traffic, we have the Campanula, which was planted a few years ago and which trails up the bush a little bit. Um, and some weeds in there, begonias, are planted this year, they're annuals obviously, so they won't be here next year. Something else will be there, or I might let the Campanula come down here and take over a bit. Pelagonium, which in my experience lasts until December, but it's, a, it's an annual, but whenever I've grown in, in the back garden it's uh, not died off till, till the winter time. Here we have gooseberry bushes, one here, and I think we've got some gooseberries on them, yes, there we are. Um, not on every branch, but we have them on some, and uh, I think they are starting to form on some of the other branches, so there we are. There's a random... Californian poppy I should have remembered to wear my mic for this <laughs> um, that has uh, popped up and I, it's not doing any harm so I'll, I'll let it flower there's another gooseberry bush there and uh, some lungwort again which, which has popped up in the middle there um, these are current bushes uh, this one here is and we've got a few currants on there. Um, so with the gooseberry bushes and the currant bushes, uh, all I do each year, each winter, is prune them in such a way that there's enough, well there should be enough air in between them to, uh, sorry about the louts going past, um, I prune them each year so that there should be enough air in between them um, and uh, that helps the production of the currants, or it should be anyway. Um, I have got a bit of a disease this year, it looks like, looks very much like aphids. So, let me just see if I can get in there and show you what it is. Um, something has gathered near the top of a lot of the uh, currant bushes and uh, is causing them to curl up. So there we go. Any comments or advice about that would be helpful. More currant bushes here. To be fair, it's not not quite the time of year where, yet where they would normally uh, start to harvest anyway, although that one is um, nearly ripe, as you can see. And then round here, at the back, we have the raspberry bush. It's normally an autumn fruiting raspberry bush, um, which is why I always cut it right back down to the ground. But for some reason, there's something about the conditions this year that mean it's starting to produce now. Although, of course, it could take, could take quite a long time to, for them to ripen, I don't know. Uh, these are all fairly well-established plants. They've been in three or four years now. Um, and another well-established plant is the dahlia down there which has come back again this year and I decided to plant a few other dahlias in 
with it. So we've got this one down here. Um, I think these are annual dahlias. In other words, they'll, they will die off this year. I don't think they'll come back. But then this one here was meant to be one that uh, doesn't come back, and it has come back each year for at least the last three years. So um, there we are. And these are some carnations, which haven't grown particularly well from last year. From last year. So again, any comments on that would be appreciated. But that is the state of the front garden. Hang on, let me just get a proper view. That is the state of the front garden in June. There we go. Well, that's it for this week. I'll be posting a bit more often um, over the summer, so that's good. Um, in some previous videos, um, I had some footage of the birds that were in the nest box, and I've put um, another video of raw footage um, uh, of the birds uh, on as well. So uh, I'll link to that in the annotations now, and there is uh, a link to it in the description box below as well if you're interested in that. Anyway, uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll have another episode of Peter Garden up soon, and uh, bye for now.